My exhibit is called Domes, and as you can see, uh, there are a lot of domes in Jerusalem. That's where I was born and raised. My style of painting is called naive paintings. It's almost like a child with all the colors and very straight lines. There's no perspective here. Anybody can do this kind of uh, a painting. I have little openings to give you a little glimpse into what Jerusalem looks like, a lot of domes in it. It is a few thousand years old and it's very unique in its architecture. I use uh, many mediums in my art. Acrylic is very forgiving. Uh, you make a mistake and you can cover it. With mosaic, it's painstaking. You break the pieces and you glue them one by one. And it taught me a lot of patience. I love doing mosaic because it connects me with a, a form of art that is so ancient. People used to do mosaic many years ago, and it comes from uh, the earth, from the ground. You take stones and you put them together, and you create an image with that. So I connect to the way that it's been done for many years. I, I was uh, not an artist as a child. Actually, being born in Jerusalem, um, times were very difficult, and uh, in my family, we didn't have the luxury of having um, uh, toys, dolls, even crayons I didn't have as a child. But I was a very good reader at age seven. My teacher asked me to go to read in front of third graders, and as a reward for that, she asked me to choose between a color pencil and a crayon. And I chose the crayon, and it was a yellow crayon. And that was the beginning of my passion with art. And I came a long way since then. I hope that uh, people enjoy seeing my art, that the colors make them feel great. It lifts their spirit like it does for me. And I hope that for Jerusalem, which means the city of peace, and everybody is fighting over it, art is a universal language. And I hope that we can bridge the differences with love and art and only good things. Thank you.